Hello everybody, it's Dio from Firm But Fair Gaming bringing you another video. Join all the videos and content we produce. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button, click on that like button, and don't be afraid to share. Don't forget to click on the notification button, customize it however you want, but that way you're notified whenever we publish another video. Hello everyone. Welcome to this week's weekly challenge rift. So this is number two, five, three. Uh, looks like we are demon hunter. Take a look at our items and stuff here. Quite the mix match. We got a couple yellows. Okay. So we are wearing, looks like we're going to have ring of the Royal Grander. Okay. So we're using the shadows mantle. So the two piece bonus is while equipped with the melee weapon, your weapon, your damage is increased by 6,000%. And the four pieces, Shadow Power gains the effect of every rune and lasts forever. We're only wearing three pieces, so that with the Ring of Royal Grandeur that gives us four, we do not get the six piece bonus. So that is all we get from the Shadow's Mantle. You can hear the Nagerling in the back background yelling at me. <laughs> Amusing. Okay, anyway, then the other set that we're wearing here is the Sage's Journey. So we have two pieces for this. This is Basically, it just gives us 250 to all stats, plus we're going to get double death rest, so that really doesn't mean anything to us. We have a the health globe next, so the glass of life. Enemies that uh, you kill have a 4% chance to drop the health globe. We're using the wrist guards, uh, Custerian wrist guards, picking up gold grants experience, also not helpful. Our belt, chain of shadows, after using impale, vault costs no resource for two seconds. The Nagel Ring, so we get a Fanatic coming to our site every 10 seconds. Yeah, there they are there. They're talking, being annoying. Uh, we got Bombardier's Rutsack, so we're going to have two additional sentries, and Cluster Arrow deals more damage. And then Carlisle's Point, uh, damage of Impale is increased by 300%, and it returns 15 hatred if the enemy is already impaled so it looks like impale might be our damage holy point shot so impale throws two additional knives and deals 100 percent more damage depth digger so primary skills will deal more damage and then the ring of royal grander okay our abilities we have bolas with thunderball okay impale so this will be our big damage vault movement fan of knives some aoe some sentries. I think this is just filler to help us kill. Shadow power. All right. We're going to get some life per hit. All right. And then we have tactical advantage. So whenever we use vault, shadow power, smoke screen, or backflip, uh, we gain 60% increased move speed. As long as there are no enemies within 10 years, all damage is increased by 20%. Not sure how that's going to work considering we're supposed to impale. But anyway. Uh, so we're supposed to be up close to personal. Then we have numbing traps. So our sentries have their damage. Um, any, anything hit by our, our sentry will have their damage reduced by 25%. Then ambush, we deal 40% additional damage to enemies above 75%. All right. So now we're fanonized sentries. They're just kind of going to plug away. The big thing is going to be our impale. Yeah, it's just going to... Destroy everything, and then we're going to need to use the shadow power. Well, all right. And then our bolas is what's going to give us back our hatred, so we can use more impale. Okay. Seems straightforward. Okay. And with the ricochet, we're going to get be able to work on trash. Okay. And it is a bit of a ranged attack. Can't say I've actually played a lot with the Shadow's Mantle, so this will be interesting. Obviously, we don't have the six piece, but looks like we should be good to go. Let's see how the rift goes. Jumping in. Oop. Gonna use our Shadow Power. Alright, so we do have some. Let's do a good amount of damage. Die. There we go. So basically, I'm just vaulting as I can. Throwing those sentries in front of me. 
and then just shadow powering because we do seem to be able to just oh we are a bit squishy so i better keep that in mind there we go dance around a little bit we go through this wall is a little bit annoying I'm trying to get around so we can actually shoot them so it does deal a fair bit of damage actually so we should be i mean we're only on a 45 so that's good and we are keeping up with um our hatred so we haven't had to shoot too many bolas trying to get back to where we need to go Oh no. Ooh. Ran the wrong way. Not enough discipline. Fortunate. That'll cost me some time in the end, so don't do that. You won't survive that. Oh I s okay, so now this is going pretty good. We can just kinda off screen everything. Door should be up here. Yep, it is. 40 seconds ahead. We would have been better off if I didn't get lost. Okay. Actually, it's not going. Actually, this is working out pretty good. Right now, I have to use some bolas there, but then we're just flying through here, being able to just quickly tap everything here. Another Waller, but that takes care of them. Onwards to the next map. Our minute and a half up. Nice, now we got an actual B totem. <laughs> totem. There we go. Two minutes up now. Does have a clear screen potential, so that's good. Oh, there's two groups there. Didn't even realize that. Just doing my thing, jumping around, vaulting around, I guess. Two minutes up now. Two and a half. Let's see if we can round this out. Almost. 240. I doubt I can get the three minutes because that would be ideal. I mean, I'd be at three minutes if we didn't get lost. Ooh, just proc. 90. There we go. Ah! Uh. Ooh. That makes me sad. Oh, wow. All right. That was not where I wanted to go. All right, the journey was no joke. In comparison to everything else. There we go, finally. Not too bad overall. Could have been a little bit quicker. I did get lost there. I'll take the time. I don't think the leaderboards are going to be up to date yet. Oh, they are. 247. Yeah, I can see that. Um, I could, personally for me, I think I could get to where... The 330 but i took got a little bit of a detour there and then i died on the guardian because i got a little bit too close overall pretty not bad i was actually pleasantly surprised we got some good movement the fact that we can just kind of spam our vault and we do have a get hatred or discipline back pretty easily and yeah we can just continually kind of off screen things as we move through we are a little bit squishy so keep that in mind i was just kind of throwing turrets ahead of myself as i was going through I was using fan of nines whenever it was off CD. Other than that, I was just, didn't really have to pull a lot. We were pretty good just as we kept going through. Um, and this is pretty one shot potential. So on um, most of the trash we're facing, some of the more healthful ones needed two shots, but pretty decent, pretty quick, pretty simple there going through. 
So that brings us to the end of the video. Just don't do what I do when you come down the middle there in the first map and you get the shield pylon. Go to the right when you backtrack. Don't go to the left. That's going to be a waste of time. And that'll save you probably 20, 25 seconds and you'll be able to just fly through from there. Like I said, this is the end of the video. If you have any questions or comments, please let me be know below. As always, we appreciate like, share, and subscribe. So please click those buttons. We just hit 4K subscribers this week, so that is awesome. Thank you, guys. We're very happy for that. So thank you. That means a lot. And until next time, I hope you're enjoying Diablo 3 Season 26. And be sure to check out uh, more of our videos. We have a bunch of guides, and we're going to keep putting them out. So be sure to check those out.